Well, tech fans, it's about time to get excited. Our FSR show off is starting to be a nice trendable thing for the community members and new people that are trying to figure out what is FSR. Does it make a difference if I'm installing it from driver to driver? Yes and no. First off, my name is Mac at the MacGyver 7 channel. We're going to be looking at the 21.6.2 compared to the 21.7.1 from AMD and sizing them up on the FSR. We'll be utilizing a nice game that is on the list and, well, on top of that, seeing if it does make an actual performance difference. If you're newer to the network, hit the subscription button and accompany it with the notification bell. Community members that are returning, slam that like button and let's go ahead and go into the segment. Will it make a difference? Well, let's fire it up, shall we? Now, for people that are wondering about the 21.7.1 Mac, are we going to get to the patch notes? Yes. Shortly after this, I am halfway through the benchmarks, but the FSR is one of those processes that happens to be the sandwich middle. And will it make a difference from driver to driver? Yes, it will. Depending on how well the performance of that driver is, that's in company to only what FSR is already out there, which is available for certain select titles. And hint, hint, Resident Evil 8 is almost on the list. And welcome to my digital abode. Yes, the warm pixels that keep me afloat. And it happens to be epic gaming sometimes. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that proudly. I'm not saying that begrudgingly. You can take that for what it is. It may be epic. But today's epic game is... Godfall, which is one of these select titles that happens to have FSR that's enabled from the game developers that happen to choose AMD's lovely software that is free to use. Not something that has to be backed by some big bucks of DLSS, which is not that bad because there's actually some cool stuff coming out for DLSS. So NVIDIA fans, get excited. There is cool stuff coming up for you too. So, as we're joined over here in Pixel Latin, we can see that we have some pretty cool stuff. Now, newer stuff that I've noticed that they've tidied up in the menu is they put all the AMD affiliated portions on and off of the resolutions, the cache, which will appear off and on sometimes, depending on what graphics card you're utilizing, if it's Nvidia or if it's AMD. Some will partially have more options. It just depends on the developer and what they want to put on there. But we're doing 4K testing and we're going to do the good, the bad, the ugly. So let's get to it. You gotta watch out for this little bugger too. It plays a part in it. Now that we have everything confirmed in 4K, we're gonna be looking at the bare bones with FSR on and off. And we'll do some basic tests of defining it between the performance and the extreme so you can actually see some really cool testing. So one of the core things that I have definitely liked what AMD has been bringing to the table is constant updates lately. And quite frankly, their technology on top of that with the hardware, meaning software, it's starting to end up being a very beautiful world. Now, unfortunately, you hear the beehive that's behind me in the real world, IRL side, not you know this digital paradise that we're in right now. Oh, look at that little guy. He looks happy. But moving on past me painting a happy little accident with that little bugger like Bob Ross, that we are looking at, like, the noisiness of my Radeon 7, which is huffing and puffing just as it normally does. And, well, it's starting to produce, I mean, 55 is not that bad, honestly, give or take, with no FSR on, on 4K. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous actually but i love you that's why i like that 16 gigabytes of like ram now when we size this up to other ones now that we've kind of got it this we're going to go ahead and skip to the very end of the test now i didn't want to bring it back for this part this part's pretty cool they're like epically fighting but we're still right around like 55 but that's not magical i want magical boom goes the dynamite and we finish at 57.1 for regular that's that's regular not premium you know, just that regular. So we're going to do it big, you know what I mean? We're going to you know, ball out like we're going to Vegas for the first time after some crazy crap went down in hindsight year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, that 2020 vision year. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. I don't need some stupid copyright strike from freaking like YouTube for making a joke. We have our fidelity update right here. And yes, we have everything turned on. Ultra quality is going to be on before we do a nice little testing of how fast we can tune it up. Because I do understand that a lot of the issues do happen to be on the latter portion of it being performance, where it's just like spitting out FPS and it's just like, you know, we probably shouldn't be doing this. But somehow it produces. So we're going to watch this and already out there beyond 60 frames. Loving it. 
solid 74 though you can see up where it's fighting with it and one of the things that i'm looking for is rendering on the far as you can see the, the cache that is rendering in the universe so something that's in the naked eye but not enough to affect you off a of gameplay also looking at frame tears when it comes around the corners can it handle it that is one of the issues that most people don't realize that a lot of bogging will happen during like the shift because it's having to create the scene as it goes so it's new picture versus something that's just running around right there so so far it's not that bad i'm saying it's going to end at a 77 dot hopefully seven would be pretty sweet i'm pretty lucky maybe for you know our testing for the ultra quality of this stuff but so far i'm liking it it's it's rendering well i, I cannot emphasize that enough that like this update for fsr and them utilizing updates through the game developer and they're playing with it because the first version of this was kind of it was cool but i was just like wow this is like the DeLorean when Doc was just like, when this baby hits 88 miles an hour, we're going to see some serious shit. <laughs> you know, it might have been an FPS short of really, really lucky, but still, I mean, that's pretty good. Look at that. And like, you know, somehow the flameless darkness, you know, is still burning because it looks like flames that are kind of like an aurora of dark fire. I wonder if that's a thing. Dark fire. Huh. Anyways, before I give a game developer an idea to run off with a story with that, let's go ahead and go to the premium portion of performance. One thing I'd like to funly point out too is like, you see some performance, right? Um, watch this. Nowhere. The AMD Fidelity FX cache comes back. That's very interesting that they even put like the FX on there when you turn it off. Now, when you put on FX, it disappears because it's probably like, hey, I'm doing my job. I don't need to like, you know, babysit that. But let's go ahead and look at performance and get a nice ballpark, well-rounded C at the very run of the 21.6.2. Now, as we've seen both the very intro and exit, we're gonna go ahead and tune in a little bit later to kind of see what ends up happening with more of the performance. Now. As I've seen, already a hundred out the gate, we have already toppled pretty much what we were aiming at. They've done a really great job, but so far up until that point we were coming into, which was digesting a lot, I'm looking for a lot of like frame tears that occurred during the first time when they had the FSR enabled. Now, when they updated, they did a great job for as far as fixing some of this stuff on like um, Godfell. So. It definitely is not falling anymore off of the cliff of just like random shit disappearing because it, it was kind of like wait Where'd that pillar go or something hella random like you were watching Tom Clancy's division 2 when they first came out with that And then I was just like wait, what's going on with this game? It was bad <laughs> Not to talk crap on it. I mean, I just remember the very beginning days when you'd run, you know benchmarks and you're just like, huh That's strange. Why is it doing that? But cool 110 not too bad so we've already gotten our base test of 56.1 76.4 and now we have 110.5 so will it beat it after we do the install as you can see over here we're gonna go ahead and download it you can download it directly on the website i will have all the links down below where you can normally get this on the patch notes so i definitely say hit that subscription button there's gonna be some pretty cool patch notes coming up next but let's go ahead and get an install on the other side of the digital rainbow i have noticed with the newer installs though i mean i know i should probably be documenting this on the patch note but i don't know if anyone else has had this where it just like it's like hi you can't reset me for that minute and a half i'm like yeah that's dandy but i know i can do this faster well now here we are back again on the 21.7 dot one side yeah everything is off so that way we are getting get a nice situation for as far as apples to apples so let's go ahead and get to the pixels moving right and here we are already out the gate this driver by itself will jump by i mean it almost looks like it'd be trying to get 60 but i am seeing some decent performance but look at where we're leveling out right before we got last time it's right around 55 some of the things are looking okay but i am noticing a little bit more of the frame tears in the upper left hand quadrant when you're doing a little turn there i don't know if anyone caught that one but i did would well, be above me on that situation but you know so far it's not bad for the rendering on the outside is rendering a little bit faster kind of like where the shouting was right around where that cherry blossom tree was where that little pillar station is going on but you can notice that you know, look at the saves right over there there's some frame tears going on as he's cutting around so i think Honestly, it might be something that maybe favors the fidelity update that maybe AMD wrote in the background I would not even doubt in the situation because with it out 
um, the optional on, uh, it's probably going to be performing eh. So, I don't know if maybe they wrote something for just the uh, Godfall community. Could be. I don't know. They, they do tend to do stuff like that sometimes, but we'll find out in the patch notes, which we'll be getting to shortly. But let's go ahead and pop out and see what our end score ends up being. So, if we're comparing driver to driver off of FSR, that's almost an FPS increasement by itself without FSR being, being on. So get excited for the community members or people that are saying, well, what's up with this update? Does it work anything past just the game that you're showcasing with FSR? Let's see what happens with FSSR on. So fidelity is on, we're loading in. We're gonna have our lovely portion of high quality first. That way we can kind of see what's going down. Now, it jumped out of the gates where it was very high in the 70s. So I'm hoping that we will drive maybe that 77, not seven, hmm, maybe, you know, like anything's possible. Um, but so far I am noticing that if you were looking at what the last thing we just saw with there, a lot of the issues that are, were there are still kind of there, but they're less noticeable. As you can kind of see, it seems like the older driver probably was a little bit more dialed in for what they were doing because of the simple reason of Godfall throwing updates on what's been built with the new optional. When a new R optional comes out, just like Windows, which they will have to refire back framework and a circumvents in order to work with inside of these. So it's optimal for the people that are saying, hey, with this graphics driver, or hey, with this is going on, bam, there's issues and solutions. So sometimes it's not always the best to update your driver right out the gate, unless, you know, it's for a game title or something as a graphics card is brand new and you need it to have it like it's OS written inside of the actual binary code. So. You know, if you're having issues, rolling back and doing a DDU is your best friend. And at the end of this video, I will have a video on top of there you can utilize to do all your DDUs. And yes, it does clean up a lot of crap. You can gain back literally a GPU. What what an interesting predicament. You know, we, we, we have like the old driver doing better with FSR on and looking a lot better with less frame tears, but sucking with performance for just well-roundedness. So. It's very interesting to see what the patch notes are going to show with a synthetic benchmark as we roll across the board and seeing is there a difference. But we have one more quality setting to look at. You know, I'm just going to call it right here. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the old driver is really good for FSR and for certain select titles that are probably out there. Now, the new driver itself seems very healthy, robust, ready to, you know, attack. Now, if you look at performance, all those frame tears are gone and it's accelerating at a faster rate. So I'm gonna kind of give it to it. Like out of all the looking of like getting between uh, it off and with it on, we're losing probably about like 10, five FPS, but you're gaining a shitload of stability. So if you're getting frame tear with the old FSR with the newer driver in combination of AMD GPUs, I understand we're not testing this on NVIDIAs and That'd be kind of crazy to kind of do that. I mean, at this point in time, it, it's safe to say, you know, roll back your driver if you're rolling into issues. No pun intended with the circular jokes. But let's see how this finishes up. Uh, uh, I might squeeze it out. I mean, it, right around this bend is when crazy stuff happens. But it seems like it loses across the board with a 0.5 to 0.4 reduction over its counterpart in the older driver. So what did we learn today? Seems like the brand new patch is going to be really cool to digest and see what ends up happening with the second half of the benchmarks on 3D Mark. But FSR seems like it definitely does have a lasting effect. Seems like probably more than likely what they did is introduce some cool waves within the performance on the other side of optional, but that is causing some probably some tears. I mean, I noticed that, but when utilizing coupled with FSR, you all notice some stuff that's going to be corrected, but it's not really corrected until you go into performance and or probably balance in order to actually get the optimal portions of FSR. So if you're paying part of the seven titles that are out there and running into issues, you're probably going to have to run around and just mess around with the fidelity until you find the sweet spot or roll back because a lot of performance did come in and quite frankly, seemed really stable. Like it wasn't that bad where I noticed something instantaneously with the naked eye. So everyone, if you're newer to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. The DDU video should be up above. And hopefully the suggested video over here is the brand new update that I've uploaded by now. And Google's just like, you should probably watch that, which you 
probably should because who knows what's on the other side of benchmarks as we kind of digest this together but i'm going to be putting out a lot of amd videos today i figure it's just technological season everyone so if you're new to the network definitely subscribe absolutely free helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows maybe lisa sue will actually send me a comment and say hey mac we're gonna send you that 6900 xt because you know like the community wants to see you benchmark something fast like you know a radeon 7 even though i, I freaking love my radeon 7 don't get me wrong it's amazing lisa I just, I, I kind of got this craving for more technology, and it, it's not accessible. Want to help out a techie? Anyways, everyone, have a very nice day. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.